In this video, I'm going to talk about moving goalposts, brokers sometimes moving goalposts, lenders moving goalposts, clients moving goalposts. The mortgage process, it's about, it's thought with dangers and problems and issues. And really, uh, when you're trying to select a broker, or select a lender, select a distributor, select a solicitor, what you need to understand is how do they work? What are their morals? What are their situations? Go and read about them. Do a little bit of research. So I'm going to talk to you about some of the examples that I've had in the last week about some of the client sort of uh, interactions that I've had. I'm going to be touching a little bit about using the brokers and how broker costs have gone up in terms of our own admin cost and insurance cost and dealing with clients. But um, yeah, a little bit of insight on how brokers work with clients. Hi, it's Payam here from Niche Advice. Hope you're all well. Um, I've just had a conversation with one of my buy-to-let clients and it's, a, it's an interesting one, so I thought I'll share it with you. Um, with this particular client, and many clients like him, um, things don't often go to plan. Um, so he found the property, we did the mortgage work, he found the property, and the lender refused to lend on it because he needed a lot of work doing to it. So uh, he had a choice of whether to get the survey done, get the work done, get the various reports done, or opt for another property. Now, we've had a couple of properties like this, we've had a couple of clients like this all the time, in fact, it happens all the time, whereby, you know, chop and change, things go don't, don't go to plan, you know, there's certain issues come up and you don't end up buying a house, maybe once, twice, three times. Now, this is where morals and principles come into place, okay? Now, the way I work with my clients is, I say, and it's written on our website, written on our documentation, is, we don't charge anything up front. So there is no upfront cost ever for any of our deals, okay? So you only pay us, often it's 499 pounds, I would say in 80, 90% of the car, tar, tar, times, it's you know 499 pounds, including VAT, for our services, once we've delivered and you know got you, um, not only got you a mortgage offer, not only on admin or got your mortgage offer, but on completion. So once you've picked up your keys or once you've had your money for a refinance, well, that means sometimes you know that that's my I've set my stall out there. That means sometimes it goes to plan and we get a mortgage and it goes straight through. But often, especially we're called niche advice, we do things a little bit differently, more complicated deals. Whereas other brokers, or some some other brokers, first of all, charge big upfront fees, but a lot of them may charge on offer. Well, that offer means, you know, you've got the offer, but things go, you know, don't go to plan. So, you know, um, so we had a conversation and he said to look, Pyam, I know this has been a bit of a pain and I'm more than happy to pay you more. And this is the third client, funny enough, this week because cases are painful right now. And he, they've actually offered, the client offered, he goes, look, you know, when this completes, Pyam, can you put a couple of hundred pounds on top? I appreciate the work you've done. I said, no. I said, I've set my stall out. If we're going to go and say we're doing something and if it takes five cases, that's fine. That's the way I've set my business up. And, you know, as a client, the fact that you've appreciated that, the fact that you'll use me next time means a lot more to me than trying to knock you somewhere down the line or even, you know, to say, okay, well, I'm going to charge you double now, you know, because it's going to be two cases or three cases or four cases. Um, yeah, so certainly from my, my own perspective, we've built our business and a lot of my clients are my friends now. You know, I've known them so long. They've all, pretty much a lot of them have got their my mobile number. So, um, you know, it's not, you know, it's not just, you know, we're not a corporate face. The whole point about these videos, the way I do them, it's not like, you know, speaking to your bank manager. I don't put a suit and tie on that. I could, I do own some suits, but I put a t-shirt on and I sort of halfly shave my, my beard because everybody's working from home at the moment. And what, I'm, not, I'm no different. And our business is no different. And I don't want to be dealing with corporates. I don't like dealing with corporates. If I don't like dealing with corporates, I want to deal with someone who can talk to me. I want to, I want to deal with someone who's going to be, you know, um, understanding uh, towards my needs. And more importantly, I want someone that doesn't change the goalpost. Uh, when I'm looking to buy something, when I'm looking to get services. And, you know, as long as you're fair with people. And I think um, that's the moral of the story. Um, I'll give you another one. I had a guy who left a message on my forum the other day followed by a message under my videos 
um, asking for some advice. I said, look, this is not the place. I can't, I don't give advice. These videos are for information uh, purposes only. So he got in touch with me via, via our website. And it, funny enough, he's, um, he's getting a mortgage through somewhere else. And he, he's, he had some questions around his sources of deposit and how it could be done. And I said, well, with all due respect, you're, you're paying someone else to go and do something else. You're getting advice. He said, yeah, well, my broker doesn't know what he's doing. And I said, well, again, I've used this line before. I'm not the Citizen Advice Bureau. I'm not just like a sounding board for you guys. If you want actual advice, I think I give a lot of information out in these videos, a lot more than what you'll see anywhere else. Most videos that you'll see is, um, you know, we do self-employed mortgages. We do buy-to-let mortgages. This is the mortgage process. You know, I try to stay away from things. I try to give you some criteria. I try to give you some real value information, okay? But it's not advice, and, and the reason I'm doing that is should someone want advice, I, will, I expect them to actually use me, not to come for me with advice and then go somewhere else and blatantly tell me. So to be fair to him, he was honest enough to tell me and he did offer to pay for my advice. But, you know, it doesn't work out like that. You know, if you're going to take advice, because a lot of people are not aware when you give actual advice, um, you're, um, you know, I'm regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. So I've got to back up that and evidence that advice. Not only that, that advice can be with you for many, 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 many years. A mortgage is for 25, 30 years. So in year 23, someone could come back to you and say, you gave me bad advice. Well, I have to back that information up. And guess what? As professional brokers, we are having to um, get professional indemnity insurance. And guess what, guys? It's getting harder and harder and harder and more costly to get that insurance. Our, our insurance went up considerably this year simply because of the way the suing culture and the way um, financial services are regulated and how um, there are so many issues uh, with, with the advice process. So, you know, these videos are information. If you want actual advice, go and seek a professional mortgage broker who is regulated, who does pay professional indemnity insurance, who is, uh, you know, works in accordance with the Data Protection Act. These are all things that, who pays for systems, who pays for compliance, who pays for, you know, people to audit myself and audit the stuff that I'm doing. Um, and all of those things are actually cost that we built in to our model. Um, so anyway, it's a little bit of information about how we work and, uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.